With new details tonight on a convicted serial killer who has moved to South Carolina, Catherine Wood has been released on parole from a federal prison in Florida. She is now living in Fort Mill with her sister. Wood served 30 years in prison for acting as a lookout while a co-defendant suffocated residents at a nursing home in Michigan. This happened in the late 1980s, and as NBC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson reports, neighbors in Fort Mill are on edge. Well, neighbors are definitely nervous. Many of them didn't even know a serial killer was moving in next door. Stay off my property. Exclusive video from our NBC affiliate. Just wonder if there's any chance we could talk. Catherine Woods arriving at her sister's home for the first time this morning in Fort Mill. Is she a threat? Now neighbors fearful as a serial killer moves in next door. Makes you feel a little nervous. Just yesterday, Wood walked out of federal prison for the first time in 30 years. Family members of five elderly women who were murdered strongly against Wood's release. I'm glad she's not coming back here. Okay, but on the other side of the coin, I sympathize with the people that's going to be living around her wherever she goes. It's a pretty twisted story. Catherine Woods and Gwendolyn Graham were nursing aides at Alpine Manor Nursing Home when they killed at least five elderly patients for fun. Wood claims she was just the lookout, but police believe she was more involved than that, fearful she could kill again. She's a serial killer and she could do it again, and most of them do. And I spoke to Fort Mill Police today. They do say they have been in contact with state parole. As for Woods' parole, she cannot take care of any elderly people, and her parole ends June 2021. Reporting in Fort Mill, I'm Lexi Wilson for NBC Charlotte.